Hi, so I just thought I'd do a quick film of the slabs in my collection. I've only got 20 slabs um, and I don't really collect them at all. Most of them I've bought because at the time there was to fill gaps and they represented better value than raw copies, which uh, sounds a bit daft but they can still be found out there. Um, the only ones that I am trying to collect is Daredevil 1 to 10, basically because I got this Daredevil number 1 signed by Stanley there. And it, um, sorry about the, the lights a bit naff, but <clears throat> I hope you can see that. Um, and it was such a good price, I thought, well, I'll have to get that. And uh, that just got the ball rolling, really. So I'm still a few few missing from there, but as you can see, I don't, I'm don't. i trying to collect sense copies as well, but that doesn't really bother me in my uh, collection as a whole. It comes My runs come as a collection of sense and pens copies. Never been really fussed about it. No, I'm not really bothered about mega high grade grades. They're nice to have, but again, I'd much rather own the book and not worry about having uh, a mint copy and stuff like that, especially Silver Age books. Um, obviously, with modern books, it's a bit more important, I would think. But there you go. So we're just uh, it's been slow. So sometimes you can see them, and again, it's shopping around, always trying to find them at the right price. As I said before, I'm not, not really a slab collector, but I am trying to get these uh, daredevils. Again, quite a poor grade at 3.5, but... Considering what I paid for it, I don't mind at all. It displays nice. So we're just trying to get those. <clears throat> so some of the other books I've got, as I said, they was really just bought for to fill in runs, really, at the time. So um, CBCS one there. Fantastic for number 18. First appearance of the school, Super Scroll and Scroll Empire. Emperor, even, sorry. Again, that... that at some point, I should really take that out the slab because um, I've only got two Fantastic Fours in slabs and it just do, do not sit in my runs at all. Um, and I did only buy it because at the time it was cheap. And same, I have got a... Let me just root through these ones here next to me. Um, again, my other, only other Fantastic Four is number five, which is um, Best of Parents of Doctor Doom. So I know it's PGX and I know people... Don't like PGX and slag them off, but again, it's not really to do with the uh, the grade or the slabbing. It's the fact that I needed it to complete the run, and it is a fantastic four number five. So this is one that needs to be taken out the slab as well at some point. Um, I think one of the reasons it really gets a, a bad grade is, if we look at the back, there's a massive tear out the back there. But I can live with that, it doesn't affect the story. Um, and it doesn't affect how it, how it looks presentation wise so on really expensive key books I'm quite happy to have um, adverts missing stuff like that or even damage to the back cover as this one is as long as the uh, story is complete and the actual cover looks nice from display so there's a couple more there so just stuff again the demon um, I had a full run of the demon I was just missing the first issue and I looked, looked and looked to try to find a decent copy, um, what, well, what was affordable. And um, this turned up better than a, a raw copy. So, again, needs to be definitely taken out the slab and uh, put in the collection. So I can actually read it. I'll just move those out of the way. So we've also got the same for Defenders number one. <clears throat> again, grade of four. Not brilliant, but displays nice to me, and it was one I was missing, and again, it was more affordable than a raw copy. I know I keep saying that, but it, um, they are out there, and you can find them. Um, this book, I have a few Golden Age books. Um, this is the only romance book I've got, but it was, uh, again, so cheap. Um, and it was decent grade as well for um, a book that's uh, produced in 1953, 7.5. I still quite like the cover, I've got a few golden age horror books and stuff but uh, this is the only romance book and so I just bought that because it was ridiculously cheap and it looks okay in a slab.
Amazing Spider-Man 14, first appearance of the Green Goblin. Again, just one that was better value and it needs to be taken out of the slab and it needs to be inserted in the run. Amazing Spider-Man run. So th this book I did buy because again it was a, a 9.8 grade um, and I haven't I didn't have a 9.8 so I did actually buy that for the grade. It's new standard edition as well so obviously that's a bit more harder to get in that grade from 1976. I do have a large run of uh, Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man so, and I have a raw copy as well but I just bought that because of the grade and again it was a really good price. And it's the same thing as well for... Uh, Marvel team up again so that's the direct edition which is not quite as uh, hard to find in that good a condition but again 1980 9.8 so that was a bit of a speculation buy it was a decent price and um, I don't really sell comic books or speculate I collect because I enjoy them but hopefully if Mockingbird does turn up in some part of the Marvel Universe I'll be able to sell that and uh, buy something else that I like so I've got a few Zombie Tramp books here, Dan Mendoza. Um, really like Dan Mendoza's art, love Zombie Tramp. Um, these was just bought, again, really because there was better value to get them slabbed at the time and there were some variant covers that I was missing. Do, again, don't really collect variant covers, think they're a bit of a con. Um, don't think there's no long-term investment in them. But you should just buy them if you like them, just buy them for the art and just keep them and enjoy them. Don't buy, well, don't buy any comic books to uh, speculate, I don't think. I think that's the way to go. But, uh, love that one. Um, there we go. And then I've just got a couple more. So these are from Volume 2 of uh, Zombie Tramp. There's, uh, the Volume 1 stuff was uh, produced by SR Distro. And it really low print runs and hard to get. Uh, quite expensive books. Just try and check them out if you can ever find one. These, again, this is volume two, so um, just started to get a bit more popular, but quite low print runs on these. Um, but just, just nice covers, and again, represented a bit more better value than uh, the raw covers, which I, I do have, and I've got a complete set of uh, volume three as well, up to where Janie was the main character, up and where she, uh, well, she doesn't die, she actually comes back alive, if that makes sense. Read the book, check out Dan's art, and he's also on kickstarter as well now so he doesn't work for uh, action lab anymore produces his own stuff if you like his art definitely check him out and uh, give the money to the artist rather than the um, comic book company right that's me done then so say not a massive collection there to look at but some i definitely need to crack open and fit in there just need to try and get them daredevils i think and uh, i'll be quite happy with that there's my uh, slab collection hope you enjoyed that and uh, might be some more videos coming soon